So you've managed to unbox your brand new 3D printer. You've set it up at the workstation. Maybe you've run through the instruction booklet, done the tweaks and the calibrations, and even printed yourself a sample calibration file. Looks really good sitting there at the workstation. But how do we go from here to your 3D printer producing high quality detailed prints? Or if you happen to be with the FDM printers, a technical, useful, functional print for you to use. Well, today I'm going to share some of my experiences that I've learned from my exploration in the 3D printing world. I'm going to be looking at sourcing some 3D files. I want to share with you a few of the sites that I personally use, giving you the option to find some great files for your new resin printer or your FDM printer. The main files we'll be looking at today are STL files. Um, they're a pretty common source for 3D printers. So where do we begin? Let's have a look at the internet to find some 3D files to print. There are millions of 3D files on the internet, but finding quality files that you can rely on can be a bit of an art. Generally, one of your first introductions into 3D files is Thingiverse, and there's a, there's a good reason for that. There's a huge repository of files here, as you can see. So here you can see an assortment, plastic, butterfly knives to practice with, articulated models. These are basically uh, FDM models. You can see some display pieces, some art pieces here, some functional pieces for storage, pots, and gamers chopsticks. Um, files like this you can use for calibrating your FDM printer. So one of the files I want to use today is actually from Thingiverse. That's the FDM file that I want to print. And it is this crab pen holder. As you can see here, this has been created by Things with Top Hats. Um, you can see a bit more about the print settings he's used. This is generally the place I come to for a lot of my FDM files um, or my technical prints. If you want to be looking at miniatures, models, busts, statues, um, even some of the terrain pieces, especially for your resin printer, um, we can look at my mini factory as you can see here this has got premium stuff so uh, files that you can buy and if we scroll down this is their front page you'll find an interesting thing at the bottom 3d scanned artifacts by scan the world community and there's a huge collection of legitimate artifacts that have been 3D scanned, um, ready for you to print. And the great thing, of course, with 3D printers is scalability, so you can scale the size up or smaller. One of the other things you'll find on my mini factory, which is a good introduction into subscriptions, is tribes. If we have a look at the tribes, this is where you can subscribe to a certain creator or group of creators um, that are putting out certain models. And for your subscription, generally it's uh, monthly access to the new models. So let's have a look at this one. This is one of the top, top ones. And a lot of these, you've got access to a free trial, um, which is a great way to download the model. Give it a run through your slicing program, see how well it prints. This is a great way to, to get a whole lot of samples and find artists and groups that you really, really enjoy. Um, so make the most of the free downloads, um, no excuses for not having good models. And as you can see, when you join up and get monthly monsters, uh, generally there's a welcome package, which is initially a group of files you can download to introduce you to their art style, and bonuses and rewards. And one of the last places I use, CG Trader. This has free models and premium models. They run some really good sales, like this one, end of season 3D model sale, 50% off. If you go to the menu, we've got 3D models. Already broken into a whole lot of groups. Let's have a quick browse of all models. So these guys are 3D models of all formats, so if you're looking for your printer, 
we'll add the filter for STLs. Uh, we're not looking for 3D models for gaming, for programming to put into programs. So again, huge range here of different types of models. Sometimes it's one model, sometimes it might be a group of models that you get. Really good place to come and have a good browse. Of course, as you can see from Thingiverse and CG Trader, a lot of these uh, designs are by independent people. Um, so there's a real pathway into upskilling with your 3D printer. If you ever want to get into the, the 3D design of things, um, you could be looking at Tinkercad, which is where you can design a lot of engineering, technical prints, replacement parts, or Blender, as a lot of, a lot of my models I print are 3D sculpted. My two main subscriptions. So one of the first, first places I use is STL Flix. Uh, these guys are relatively new. Um, but I've been subscribed to them for quite a while. And what really drew me to these guys was they have a commercial tier. So I'm joined up on a commercial tier. So I pay a little bit more each month, but I have the rights to sell everything I print. And you can see they do a release at least once a week. Uh, so you can be looking at all of these are from the latest drop. And sometimes you'll have two drops in a week. Uh, they do a few bonus bonus drops as well. Um, but as you can see, we've got articulated models, chest sets, props. Uh, some of these are life-size swords, helmets, etc. Miniatures, so there's some resin printing here. Um, the vases, more suited to the FDM printing, so they have a good mix of FDM and resin uh, files to download. As you can see, headphone hangers, wine bottle holders, vases, game controller holders, articulated models, customizable stuff. in 3D prints. Dice towers, which I'm a huge fan of. And these are some of the ones that members have printed themselves. Miniatures to paint. I have found these 80% reliable, the miniatures. Now for my favorite subscription, Loot Studios. These guys are amazing. So every month there's a new package. They offer loyalty rewards, which I have printed a couple off. Um, these are 40 centimeter statues, of course being 3D printed, scalable, so you can have them as miniatures as well. And of course, any of these who can scale up as well. Um, but I've been with Loot for quite a while, back since October 2021. And progressively, their bundles are getting bigger. Um, and they offer all sorts of things. So let's have a look, find some models to download. So this is the latest drop. See more than 50 STL files. Now let's go have a look at the files. So here's your selection of enemies. Got your heroes. Busts, which I am after a bust. Now we click on to Bratuk. So we have our options here with the bust, so we can download a hollow file, solid file, slicer file, and supported file. Generally, we want hollow for our resin prints. 
ink's not only saves on resin, but it makes the print itself a little bit lighter, which can give you a more reliable print. When it's printed solid, it can be a little bit um, heavy sometimes. So I would avoid solid unless it's very small. Um, the 32 mil pieces and some of the very small pieces can only be solid. Uh, there's not enough room to hollow it out inside. Slicer is the option for like a light chi file itself but it's just as easy to download the STL file and import it yourself. So we'll go ahead and we'll click download. I'm going to download a selection of other models and when it comes to the slicer, I can show you making the most of the printer and putting some extra models onto the build plate. And let's click on Agatha. Now here, because it's not a bus, we have a few more options. So we can download it in 32 mil scale or 75 mil scale. I'm going to download a mix so you can see the comparison of the scales once we've printed them. 32 mil, I only have the option of solid, the slicer or the unsupported. As soon as I hit 75 mil, I have my hollow option. So I can go with 75 mil hollow, download. Next, let's grab a couple of enemies. So because we had a average sized person for the last model, let me grab this Auntie Grimmith, who looks average size. And we will download her in 32 mil solid. And this way we can get a comparison between the 75 mil and the 32 mil. Download that. I think I'll have room for a couple more. So this Dirk Arcanist. I think these are generally a little bit smaller than an average sized person. 75 mil hollow. Download that and the Dirk Warrior 32 mil solid. Now, if we go to the landing page, come and check out Loot, lootstudios.com. They have some awesome guides as well as part of the monthly drops. Um, they generally have a painting guide in there, and all of these are for your indie tabletop gaming. Um, a 5e compatible, come with some storyline and some stat sheets as well. Here, you can see your stat box for D&D 5e and some of the lore. All right, now we've got some files downloaded. I'm gonna upload them into the slicer. Let's look at it from there. So there we have it. A whirlwind tour around the internet and a few of the first stops you want to visit to pick up your next 3D files. So if you'd like to be part of our lifelong learning community, or you just don't want to miss the next video where I take these 3D files that we've downloaded, export them into the slicer, and show you the slicing and printing process, hit that subscribe button. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.